Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a chopper. I've wanted to do this video for a long time, but really never found the time to do it. But first thing I guess I need to talk about is I'm not at home. I just moved down to Idaho to make knives for New West Knife Works. So I'm going to be using their shop here, which has all kinds of cool stuff in it. I'm going to be here for a while making knives. Hopefully that means that I'll have the opportunity to make more videos for you, more different stuff that I wouldn't usually be able to do. But it's a cool place here, lots of cool people. I'm really excited about it. Let's just jump in to making a chopper. Not this chopper, this is a chopper I made for myself, but it's gonna be kinda of like this. All right, some nice W1 here. I want six inches, that should be six inches. Six inches is the right amount to make the knife I want. So, that's cool. Tighten that down. Well, here's the blade all forged out. Definitely not my cleanest forging, but I was more worried about getting the geometry where I wanted it than having a perfect profile. Um, I'm also still getting used to how the power hammer moves material. So next time I do this, I should be able to account for the way it's gonna move in the preform and get a much closer finish forging. But this is gonna work for now. Now I've gotta take this over to the grinder, hog some steel off and make it look a little bit more like this guy.
All right, now that this knife has been hardened and tempered, it's time to do a little more grinding on it. First, I'm gonna grind the bevels in. There's not much bevel to grind because the way I forged this out, I'm gonna have the brute to forge on the fullers. I guess it's fullers. I guess it's like an S grind or like a B grind or I don't know what to call it, but it's got hollows in it because that's cool. So I'm really only be grinding like a half inch up the edge. It's gonna be kind of like a convex grind. So it's gonna be nice for chopping and everything really. And then once I've got the bevels in, I'm gonna square up the bolster, put a file guide on there and then grind in my shoulders and my tang area. Then I can move on to the handle. Well, here's the chopper all finished up. I'm pretty happy with it. I really do like how the power hammer forged in these hollows. They're nice and kind of uniform and, you know, they're nice. Um, also, the ironwood on the handle, super nice. Ironwood's never really the wrong, the wrong thing to go with. It's tough and it's pretty, you know, pretty classic. Well, I can't make a chopper and then not chop something with it. So I've got this two by four and we're gonna, we're gonna see what this knife does. No damage at all, just like one would expect. I already tested it on some antler, you know, full swings on some antler, no damage whatsoever. It all just comes down to heat treat and geometry. Um, and this one's right where I like it. Well, thanks for watching to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. Choppers have got to be my favorite thing to make. They're fun, but they're also useful. They're fun to swing, fun to make. I just love them. I love them a lot. Uh, hello? Shit.
I don't like the fan. I really don't like that fan. And I blow a ding 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 a Shut up, shut up, shut up. Ah! Mm. Oh, it's early, man. I need more coffee. I'm tired. It took like eight million takes. Tastes kind of like quench oil, I guess. Hmm.